Hi there viewers and gamers alike out there. Welcome back to another Doing Book video. I'm your host, this channel, Austin Lawrence. Before we begin, don't forget to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. <coughs> Today, we'll be showing off, I'll be showing off my Persona 14th Investigator Archetype. And without further ado, let's get around this. Starting off back early, as always, we have Investigator Zero. He's a level 2 Wind Warrior Tuner monster with 8 turn attack, 6 turn defense, and the following effect. The score can be treated as an attribute for the synchro summoning of an Investigator Persona synchro monster. Once per turn, spell summon one Investigator monster. Moment, please. Your hand, deck, or graveyard. <coughs> Investigator Embrace. The normal spell with the following effect. You control an Investigator Tuner monster. Spell some one non-tuner Investigator monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Investigator Fox. It's a continuous spell with the following effect. If you control an Investigator monster, this card can be treated as a level 2 tuner for the synchro summoning of an Investigator Persona synchro monster. <coughs> Investigator 1. He's a level 2 Wind Warrior monster with 1000 attack, 500 defense, and has the following effect. If you control no monsters, or full monster control are investigator monsters, you can spell summon this card from your hand. All investigator monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. Investigator 2. So he's a level 2 fire spellcaster monster, 15 under attack and defense, and has the following effect. Now flip a thousand points damage. Moment, please. Who your opponent? Okay. Investigator Insight. Normal trap with the following effect. When this card has, when your opponent activates a card effect, discard a card. And if you do, negate the effect. Investigator 4. He's a level 2 Wind Warrior Monster with 5 attack and 2,000 defense. And that's the following effect. His heart gains 1,000 attack for every Investigator Monster you control. Investigator Meetup. It's a normal spell with the following effect. Spell some one Investigator Monster from your graveyard. Investigator Midnight. It's a normal trap with the following effect. When your opponent declares an attack on Investigator Monster, der, negate the attack. And if you do, send the attacking monster to the graveyard. <laughs> Investigator Persona Himiko. It's a Link 1. Light Psychic Link Monster with 2500 attack requires one Investigator Monster and has the following effect. When this card is summoned, all Investigator Monsters you control gain 1000 attack. Perfect. Investigator Persona Izanagi. He's a level 4 Wind Thunder Synchro Tuner Monster. Third with Britannus Monster stats, requires one Investigator Zero and one non true Investigator Monster, and that's the following effect. This card cannot be used in material set for the synchro summoning of an Investigator Persona Synchro Monster. Once per turn, destroy <coughs> <coughs> all spell or trap cards your opponent controls. 
Right there, Persona is Nagi no Okami. He's a level 8 wind celestial warrior synchro monster with 45,100 attack and 4,000 defense. Requires one investigator Persona is Nagi plus one non tuner investigator monster. It has the following effect Must be for synchro summons with the above synchro materials. Spell some one investigator zero from your graveyard, and if you do, bans all monsters your opponent controls. Can we use this effect if you get to gear for selling Izanagi no Okami once per turn? <coughs> investigator Persona Jiraiya. He's level 4 Wind Warrior Synchro Monster with Red Eye Stats. Requires one investigator tutor plus one non tutor investigator monster. And there's the following effect. When this card is synchro summoned, target one investigator tutor monster in your graveyard. Shuffle it to your deck. And if you do, draw one card. <coughs> investigator Persona, Kintoki Doji. He's a level 4 water machine synchro monster with blue eye stats. Also, he's a pendulum with scale of 9. Nine and as the following wing pendulum and monster effect. <laughs> Last cards in the pendulum zone gain a thousand life points for every investigator monster in your graveyard. Can we use this effect to mess your persona Kitoki Doji once per turn? Your opponent can't activate card effects for three turns after this monster was synchro summoned. Investigator Persona, Konohana uh, Hana Sayaka. Or Sayi. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that last part. It's a level 4 Fire Winged Beast Synchro Monster with 2 downs in attack and defense. Requires 1 Investigator Tuner plus 1 non tier Investigator Monster. And that's the following effect. The point that thousand points of damage. To your opponent for every investigator monster in your graveyard. Can we use this effective investigator persona? Konohana once per turn. Investigator persona. Sukana. Kona Ikono. And the level 4 light celestial warrior synchro monster. With red eye stats. Requires one investigator tuner plus one non tuner investigator monster. That's the following effect. This card card. If you do, send all cards your opponent controls to the graveyard. Can we use this effect to investigate persona? No, it's to kind of kind of hikona once per turn. Persona investigate persona Takamakazuki. He's level 4 Wind Thunder Synchro Monster with 2400 attack and 25 defense. Requires 1 Investigator Tuner plus 1 non tuner Investigator Monster. And it's the following effect. When his card is Synchro Summon, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Investigator Persona Tamoe. It's a level 4 Earth Warrior Synchro Monster with... The inverse with 2 downs and attack, 25 under defense, requires 1 investigator tuner plus 1 non tuner investigator monster. And that's the following effect. When it's going to synchro summons, your opponent cannot activate card effects. It is still going. Perfect. Investigator tune up. It's a normal spell with the following effect. Spell some one investigator tuner monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Or hand or deck, my bad. Nor the graveyard part. Investigator TV World. It's a field spell with the following effect. All investigator and investigator persona monsters you control are unaffected by your opponent's card effects. Can we use the following effect of 
Facts of Vesgare TV World What's Perturbed. What? What? Add one Vesgare Tuner monster from your deck to your hand. Two. Spell some one Investigator monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Three. You can draw an Investigator Persona Synchro monster. Draw one card. Wait, I can't touch again. Can you know this, Hanson? Investigator 6. So he's a level 2 light psychic tuner monster with 1500 attack and 1000 defense. Depends on monster with scale of 1. And as the following requires. And as the following pendulum and monster effect. All investigator monster control can't be used as synchro material except for the synchro summoning of an investigator persona monster. Add one Investigator Tutor monster from your deck to your hand. You can use this effect of Investigator 6 once per turn. Investigator 7. So he's a level 2 Earth Warrior monster with 2,000 attack and defense. There's the following effect. When this card summoned, all investigator monster control cannot be destroyed by battle. <laughs> investigator 10. He's a level 2 Earth Warrior monster with 2,000 attack and 1,000 defense. And that's the following effect. This card can attack directly once for every investigator monster you control. Investigator 17. He's a level 2 Dark Fiend Tuner Synchro monster with a scale of to pendulum monster with a scale of 9. And that's the following pendulum and monster effect. If all monsters you told are investigator monsters, about some of as many investigator synchro monsters as possible from your extra deck. When it's called summon to add one investigator card from your deck to your hand. <coughs> now, Velvet Investigator Attendant. She's level 4 light spellcaster synchro monsters with blue eye stats. Requires one investigator tuner plus one non tuner investigator monster and has the following effect. All velvet and investigator monster control can't be destroyed by battle. <coughs> well, I'm gonna have to fill out this one time.
it seems we are going to stop here for the time being. Don't you worry. We are going to you to pick up where you left off. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, call my favorite, subscribe, and tell what you guys think in the comments down below. And we'll see you guys next time.